All right, we are officially in someone's cellar. Like this, this looks, well, you know what? Raise your hand if if you walked into a house that you were potentially buying and this is what the basement looked like. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to pass. Especially with that going on. What the heck? It shall be done. Hmm. Well, the dead bodies probably would have been a, a dead giveaway. Where's Alistair? We beat up him with the tanks beating up on people. What is what is the tank beating up? Everything. Good job, good job, good job. Did Sten? Sten switched over to sword and board. Sten. Sten. Please, do what you're good at. What is this? Ooh. Hmm. When? Let's see what you got, baby girl. I mean, that's what you have. Let me, I'll see if um, Morgan needs it. Yeah, there's absolutely no way. And this is creepy. As you say. This is really creepy. The noises alone. Uh huh. What do you mean you've never climbed a tree? Don't cats like to be in trees? Little girl, Amalia. Oh look, someone's come to play. Hello. You have come to play, haven't yes, you? Yes, I have. We're playing a guessing game. It's better with more people. Ah. Uh, good. You're safe. Your father was worried. I mean, obviously she means the cat. We, who is we? The cats. Father? Oh, you can tell him I'm fine. Maybe he'll come and stay with us too. Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. The cat? The cat finds me distracting? Kitty's clever. She says you want to take me back to my father, but I'm not going. She would be lonely. You are so kind, Amalia. I would miss you dearly if you left. Okay, so every kid has an imaginary friend. Well, not every kid, but a lot of kids have imaginary friends. They usually don't come to fruition. You know, they, they don't, they're not usually tangible. This, this is obviously a possessed cat. Not that that's probably any different than most cats. Let's just be honest. And hey, if you're a cat lover, don't come out of box on me. I'm just saying, we all know, even cat lovers know, cats are evil. Okay, they're cute, but evil. Um, that's not really a cat, is it? Of course she's a cat. She just talks, that's all. Talking is simple enough, once you know how. Right, what are you really? I am a cat, really. Nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. So you have two voices. I, I hear your main voice, but then I hear that 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 underlying bass going and um yeah. Okay, I'm not leaving without the girl. It seems we are at an impasse, so let me propose a compromise of sorts. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father and leave this place forever. Absolutely not. Let you have the girl. You possess her. I don't make deals with your kind. I certainly don't. No! Kitty! You will not take the child from me. She shall be mine forever. Oh no. <gasps> Oh no! Oh no! What did we just do? It is the end. No, 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 no
Get her. Alistair. I'm stuck. I'm dead. Oh no. We just killed a little girl. Helm of Hanaleith, Court of Shattered Dreams. How fitting. Oh my gosh. Was there a better decision? I'm just gonna go with it. I don't know what else to do. What is this? I don't, oh my gosh. We gotta tell this man we kill his daughter. What, oh my gosh. Can I even, oh no. I heard you already. Oh, I feel absolutely horrible. Horrible. Now we got to go up here and tell this man that his daughter is dead. I'm not happy about that. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Let's. What happened to her? Is she in there? Why hasn't she come back? I'm sorry, Matthias. She's dead. She's dead. Oh, my poor butterfly. Thank you for finding her, at least. I'm grateful. You'll need a phrase to activate Shale. It's Doolan Han. I wouldn't want the thing, but it's obvious you can handle yourself just fine. Now, I guess, I'll go. You're not even gonna ask about the body? Like, you just... Turns out that Felix gave you the wrong command towards for the golem in Hanalee. If you have obtained the correct ones now and are ready to activate the golem. I, I didn't even try. I didn't even try. Um, what was this guy doing down here? Seriously, what what was the dad doing down... Whoa, wait, what is this? Nothing. What was he doing down here? Hmm. I I don't know. I don't know. I don't I'm I'm so sad. I am so sad right now. I know it's a game, but listen. A little girl just died. I hope the father is okay. Matthias, I Oh my gosh. Okay. You are not quite as callow as I thought. Oh. That is unexpected. I guess Den is coming around, folks. Um, thanks. I guess. Callow? You thought I was callow? You're welcome. So, will you tell me now why you were caged? I caged myself. A weak mind is a deadly foe, as you are no doubt aware. exactly what happened I told you before that I was sent here I was not sent alone I came to your lands with seven of the Beresad my brothers to seek answers about the blight we made our way across the Ferelden countryside without incident seeing nothing of the threat we were sent to observe until the night we camped by Lake Callanhad I came from everywhere the earth beneath our feet the air above us our own shadows harbored the dark spawn I saw the last of the creatures cut down too late I fell. 
Um, what happened to the other Quinari? I am told no others survived. I don't know how long I lay on the battlefield among the dead, nor do I know how the farmers found me. I only know that when I woke, I was no longer among my brothers, and my sword was gone from my hand. What did you do? I searched for it, and when that failed, I asked my rescuers what had become of it. Did the farmers know where it was? They said they found me with nothing. Did you believe them? I did. I knew they didn't have the blade. They had no reason to lie to me. I panicked. Unthinking, I struck them down. That's... that's terrible. I know I cannot justify what I have done. My honor is forfeit. That sword was made for my hand alone. I have carried it from the day I was set into the Beresad. I was to die wielding it for my people. Even if I could cross Ferelden and Tevinter, unarmed and alone, to bring my report to the Arishok, I would be slain on sight by the Antarm. They would know me as Solas, a deserter. No soldier would cast aside his blade while he drew breath. Hmm. I'm not going to ask him how... Well, I am curious. How can your people possibly think that way? But I'll ask... Um, about searching for it. Couldn't you search for it? If I knew where to look, it would be in my hand now. Where did you fight the Darkspawn? Near Lake Callanhad. Everything's at Lake Callanhad for some reason. Don't worry, we'll find it. Perhaps those words are empty, but thank you all the same. Oh, we're, we're gonna do it. New quest. Quest updated. Stan revealed to you the reason he went berserk and killed the farmers. He awoke without a sword. The Barasad value their swords highly and do not part with them until death. The thought that his sword might be lost drove Sten into a mindless rage. You told Sten that you would try to track down his sword. Okay, that's what we're going to do. But first we must um, deal with the golem here. Continue. This is a golem, I believe. Damaged, perhaps beyond repair. Sorry about there that may be a way to reactivate it, though that is not necessarily wise. Dulan Harn. I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control rod. And not even a mage this time. Probably stumbled across the rod by accident, I suppose. Typical. Mm -hmm. Uh, hello to you too. And how do you know I'm not a mage? It thinks these crystals are simply for show, I see. Huh. I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long, many, many years. And the villagers had no idea they were being watched. Creepy. That is creepy. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? No, not all of them. Some got away, then. How unfortunate. Did you watch the attack? Obviously. Not as much as it would think. There was running and screaming, and then days and days of watching the dark spawn prowl around. I would never have thought there could be something less interesting than the villagers, but there it was. Well, go on then. Out with it. What is its command? Do you have a name? Perhaps. I may have forgotten after all the years of being called Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. It certainly does, right in its hand. I see the control rod, yet I feel... Go on, order me to do something. 
All right. Walk over there. And, uh, nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is broken. Shouldn't you be happy about that? Hmm. I suppose if I can't be commanded, this means I have free will. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It is simply, what should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It what must have it? awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? Um, I hadn't much thought. I see. Wonderful. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. You're welcome to come with me. Are you certain <laughs> you want to bring that thing with us? I mean... It could be dangerous. It could be. And large. I stand as large and dangerous. Think of it as a portable battering ram. Good point. Better it than me, anyhow. I will follow it about then. For now. I am called Shale, by the way. Hey, Shale. Shale? Um, I am Natalia. Pleased to meet you. This should be interesting. Alright, so we're not going to take Shale with us quite yet. I do want to try to get Sten's quest done. Also, I want to get Morgan's quest done. We're going to take Sten with us. And we're going to go new codex, Shale. Alistair disapproves, of course. <clears throat> we got a skill. Um, quest completed. With the correct command words and the control rod, you successfully activated the golem in Hanalith. Though the control rod seems to seemed unable to compel it to follow your commands, the golem was shale, and it claimed to have no memories except those of the villagers it was forced to watch for the past 30 years. With nothing better to do, Shale has decided to accompany you in your journeys. All right, so also we have a codex. Um, characters? Mm. Queen of Nora. Oh gosh, I haven't been keeping up with these. Sir Cothran? These are people that I've met along the way, apparently. Or Brother Ferdinand Genetivi. Shale must be down here or something. Sophia Dryden, Zevran, Wynne, Van Tegan, Sten. Um, oh, look, Sten has an eye for paintings, an appreciation that might seem out of character, but is actually an extension of Kunari discipline. He respects an artist for careful composition, a skill that is much about whether the brushstroke stop, where the brushstroke stops as to where it begins. Um, Zevran shows an affinity for the finer things in life, hardly surprising for an Antivan crow, but his appreciation can be more poetic than he lets on. A simple bar of refined silver or gold, uncomplicated by a craftsman's hammer, is elegantly valuable. So this told us, for when a printed word is a window to true understanding, a scholar by heart, she feels that what a person, what a people commit to the page is sacred by definition. Okay, so I had no idea. I had no idea. What is shell like? Natalia unearthed shell's control rod and awakened it, adding a bitter malfunctioning golem to the menagerie of companions. All right, so we've got a bitter malfunctioning golem we also have a bitter malfunctioning witch morgana morgana really morgan critic morgan's critical eye is not reserved solely for others knowing or not she has a simple fondness for jewelry and is very particular about her appearance i could see that liliana there is more to liliana than had Evan even been a parent at Lotharin, however, she spent much of her life as a bard in Orlais, a minstrel, assassin, and spy employed by the nobles of Val Royale in their elaborate 
games of intrigue. Okay, so finding out a little bit more about these um, companions of ours. If I had known that they were in there, but yeah, Alistair didn't like that one bit. Let's, um, he leveled up a bit, so we're going to give him a little more strength. Because I want to be able to get him, actually, I need to give him dexterity, I think. Yes. Um, mental fortress. Let's give him that. All right. I think we... Did I get a key of anything? I didn't get a key, did I? Because there was a chest over here. Well, let's can try it and see. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to open it because I don't... Oh, wait. I must have picked one up. Olaf's prized cheese knife. Is that better than what I have? It's got sockets, so yeah, but let's take it. Equip it. Um, enchanted dagger. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Wen. All right. So, we've got a new companion named Shale. Um, and again, my plan is to go to... Like Colin had to find Stin's sword. Um and we oh yes, gather party. So like oh no here. So then we need to also take care of Wynn or Wynn. Uh Morgan's mother. I have to decide on oh, I have to decide what party I want to take because I have a feeling she's going to be tough. More dogs. <laughs> A lot of traps here. Oh, he's not dead. We got you, Win. We got you, Win. Okay, we didn't have Win. We didn't have her. Sorry, Win. Sorry, Alistair. It shall be done. Brush it off. Brush it off. As you say. Okay, Win. Let's get you healed up. Immediately. Alistair, you too. Take that off. All right, let's um clear some of these traps. Get some XP. This is probably the most boring part. Let me take a sip of my coffee. Okay. As you say. Oh my gosh, how many traps are there? Death root, oh. This is a ton, my gosh. Do I really need all this? Do I really? It shall be done. As you say. As I say. All right, one more. It is begun. No, one more. They seem to be appearing as I walk towards the exit sign. What do they say? It shall be done. Wolves frequent this area. Beware, beware. Okay. So, Lake Cullen had. What is this? We are here. Hello? Scavenger. 
back off. I was here first. You haven't seen a sword lying around here, have you? Why? You looking to buy one? Only if it's a Kunari blade. A Q what? Kunari? It would probably be large and unwieldy, especially for human. Well, honestly, I don't have any swords. The spot was picked pretty clean when I got here. I got part of a glove. The wolves didn't chew too badly, though. I think it was a glove, anyway. Mm. I know, don't say it. I got cheated. I knew the guy who was here before me. He sold me this spot. Said he found giants and all kind of crazy valuables. He didn't mention that he'd taken everything but the bones and the dirt already. His name's Ferrin. Squirrely little bastard, if you ask me. Which you didn't, but I said it anyway. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, where is he now? He was going to Orzammar, he said. I imagine he's gotten there by now. If you find him, tell him I sent you. It'll scare the piss out of him. Ah. All right, we, we will do that. Uh, uh, there's a mage collective. What is this? Oh, landmark. You know, we haven't picked up Augie in a while. Take this. You've earned it. Someone else's imagination. Just players in a play. Exactly. You, I, everything. All a dream. But whose dream? And for whose amusement? Some being of cosmic power. Sublime, enlightened beings. Cosmic power? What, you're serious? They thought of all this grit, all the war. They bloody thought of boil. I got a boil the size of your nose on my big toe, and some beings are enjoying this. Yeah. Disturbed, sick bastards, if you ask me. Ahem. I still maintain they're more enlightened than that. If I ever come across one of them, I'll give them a what for. <laughs> All right, I got a little bit of throb, frog, a frog in my throat. Anyways, I love it when they break the third wall with comedic um, wit, with wit and in, ooh, let's go here. Ban Lauren. Wait, what? Are, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. What? What were we supposed to be doing? This, this is um. Current quests, companions, sword of the Barisad. Stone sword may be in the hands of Farron, the scavenger who looked, who looted the battlefield where the blade disappeared. Farron was heading to Orzammar and is likely there now. Okay, so let's, um, Let's go here first, and then let's head to Orzammar, which is here. Um, get these cleared out. Take a closer look at the unarmed men. Man. You are surprised to recognize the uniform of King Kalen's honor guard. A memory comes to you, and you fought, you fought alongside this man at Ostagar. Take a closer look at the guards. The guards were the uniform of Ban Loren, a minor lord well known and little loved for the fluidity of his allegiances. Okay, so he's quick to switch sides. Join the fray. Oh. Yeah! Well, well, how the heck did we get down? Oh, so <laughs> just like. I shall do it. He'll stand. Get everybody. Another vanquished. Yep. As you say. Private militia. Elric. 
Up close, the man's face is unmistakable. You remember as Elric Merrig Merrigan? A member of Kaelin's honor guard at Ostagar, and a close confidant of the king. He survived that? Thank you. Hmm. I, I didn't expect the band's men to notice my escape so quickly. I tried to hide here in the woods, but there wasn't time. And now I'm a dead man. What do you mean there wasn't time? You were there in Ostaga. You know how things went. For me, it was either this or die in some dark spawn's belly or, or be hung as a deserter. Yes, I recognize your face. You were there with the Grey Wardens, one of Duncan's new recruits. I was to guard the king. He was my friend, understand? Make her. All that time in Ban Loren's prison. And I couldn't stop thinking about all they suffered that one dark night at Ostagar. It's not your fault they died. I know. Even had Logain's men not turned their backs on us, the Darkspawn were too many. Even Kalen, for all his bravado, knew there would be no victory at Ostagar. The king entrusted me with the key to the royal arms chest. If anything were to happen to him, he said, it was vital I deliver it to the Wardens. Do you still have this key? The Maker has a sense of humor, doesn't he? I suppose it's for the best, however. Had I kept it, it would be in Ban Loren's hands by now. But you said Kaelin entrusted it to you. I was afraid. I thought I would lose it on the battlefield, so I stashed it in the camp. Please, it's probably still there. You don't think the Darkspawn found it? I hope not. Would they know how to work the lock, even if they did? The Darkspawn are more cunning than we give them credit for. That's true. But the King trusted that lock with his secrets. I'd guess that the contents of that chest are still intact. The key's behind a loose stone at the base of a statue. I'll draw a map for you, so you'll know where to search. You'll be taking me along, won't you? Call me sentimental, but I left behind some Darkspawn that really deserve a sword through the middle. The events at Ostagar still haunt my thoughts, Warden. If that is where we are headed, I would like to accompany you. Okay. It is vital that the King's documents do not fall into the wrong hands. As for Merrick's sword, it is too powerful to be poured at by those monsters. Same for the King's other arms and armor. And... And if you happen to find Caelan's body, see it off. He was our King. He shouldn't be left to rot amidst the Darkspawn's filth. <laughs> New Codex returned to Ostagar. Okay, so this is just like... Who worked on the, the quest? So we have a quest here. Um, premium? The King's Confidant. According to Elric, the King's Arm Chest contains documents pertaining the secret the secret talks with Orle. Kaelin entrusted the key to Elric, who, fearful of capture, hid it within a statue at Ostagar. Given the importance of the documents, the unknown state of the king's body, the opportunity to reclaim the royal arms and armor, and your own desire for revenge, the benefits of a small scale assault on Ostagar are the beginning are beginning to outweigh the risk. Yeah, I mean, it would be risky, but um, I would say that we're definitely going to take um, Alistair and Wen because they were with us at Astagar. It shall be done. And I think bringing Augie along too, or maybe we should bring Wen because, well. or Wen, um, Morgan, because Morgan. Morgan's mother risked her, you know, well, saved us. So maybe we should bring Morgan. I don't know. Either way, we're going to go here. Frostback Mountains. Um, so, oh, it's right here. Oh, look. Plymouth Hut. It's right next to Plymouth Hut. Well, yeah, of course it would be. This is where we were. Lothering. Lothering. Destroyed by the dark spawn. So here. Frostback Mountains. And then I think we are definitely going to head to Ostagard next. Concentrate, like we practiced. Now, fire! 
All right, let's get let's get to it. I had to take a sip of coffee. Oh no no you don't. It shall be done. Oh no you don't. As you say. Come back here. Come back here. Very well. Not on my watch. Do I? I lost my. Oh gosh, they knocked me down. Somebody help me. What? The actual? Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. This hurts. Blood. That is a lot of blood. Well, look, somebody survived. Who is this guy? Mage? Just I'm mage. taking these apprentices to Redcliffe. The first enchanter says you need every able-bodied mage for the war. They're young, but capable enough, as you saw. Yeah. Uh. They? Because it's just the one. I think the other one died. Pretty sure. As a matter of fact. Um. Yeah. Right there. I didn't manage to save everybody, but we got a couple. All right. Anything else to loot around here? Okay, so off to Orzmar West to Orlais. So just a quick thought. Area unlocked. Frostback Mountain Pass. So just a quick thought about King Kalen. So King Kalen knew... Even with all his bravado as the um, soldier that we met, um, he knew that he wasn't going to survive the night. He knew that this was a lost cause, but he was willing to go down um, in history fighting. And so I have to give him a little more credit than I was initially willing to. Um, it just It's kind of interesting to really be paying attention to these quests and see that King Kalen his, wasn't... The idiot that we, some of us, including myself, um, thought he was, um, that he wasn't, I wouldn't say an idiot, that he just wasn't on Wise King, but he knew. He knew, and I think he knew that Logan was going to betray him. That's why he um, put those belongings away, and according to the, um, the quest here, it says that he had some documents from a talks in uh, an Orlais and he locked those away. Um, that is interesting. That is very, is very interesting. It just makes this story so much the better. All right, let's go. Um, let's save because we haven't saved in a while. Um, so I, I want to definitely want to save. And um, what are you two up to? We must not take our supplies. Bounty hunters. Low game. <laughs> oh, that was right. Get the freaking mage. Oh, she's dead. Head gone. Oh, there was another guy over here. All right, mage down. And health poultices. Something else that probably can be sold. Our health poultices. Definitely gonna need those. Did we miss something? No. I want to see if I can make some more poisons because I've gone through quite a bit. All right. Mm, I was going to say, where do I go right here? All right. Who do we need to talk to? Most traders aren't allowed into Orzuma, so they just sort of gather near the doors. There's no laws up here at all, I'm told. And there's no laws like right here? So anything goes. 
talk to these guys. Dwarf and surface dwarf. How are we supposed to live like this? I have buyers waiting. I don't know. What do you got there? May the ancestors protect us all. Okay. Mm, shady thug. Tor Thomas the deserter. What business would the mighty Grey Wardens have with a man like me? Mm, I'm here on behalf of the Blackstone Irregulars. Oh? What was this about? I hear you've stolen supplies from the guild. How sad it is to see a Grey Warden manipulated. But I have no time to straighten this out for you. Men, let's teach the Grey Warden a lesson about trust. What do you mean, manipulated? Hold the phone. What? What's he mean? What's he mean by manipulated? Guild supplies, frost shear. Ooh, give that to um Sten because he doesn't have shady saw sword, red steel. Hmm. Um Uh let's see what Sten's working with. Alistair seems to be the only one that stays in his place. Um Warden's long sword. I wonder if the shady sword or <laughs> shady sword. Oh, this is a lot better. Give him that. Um also also give him Oh yeah, give him that and this. I mean, Harvest Festival ring. Okay, I don't know what that's from. Uh, service door. Probably doesn't Very have much well. to say. Up to you. Perhaps there'll be better trading in Redcliffe. Maybe. Well, they need us. If the gate stays closed, that city starves. I mean, you could go to Redcliffe. It's safe now. Let's talk to you, Farron. Step right, make us breath. Oh, beg your pardon, friend. You uh, startled me a bit. Mm. You're Farron, right? You've uh, heard of me? Mm -hmm. Where is my sword? I, uh, I don't know what you mean, sir. I'd give him. I'd give it to him if I were you, Farron. I, I don't have it. I swear by Andraste's knickers. I sold it on the way here. Who'd you sell it to? A dwarf near Redcliffe. Dwin, I think his name was. Wait, Dwin? I know him. Do I? He's the one who oh, has the yeah. sword. I promise you. Said he was a collector. We'll see. Dwin. Yeah, I remember him. I absolutely do. Why are you smiling like that? You look suspiciously like the cat that swallowed the pigeon. Canary. What? I look like the cat that swallowed the canary. I once had a very large cat, but not my point. My point is, why are you smirking? <laughs> you were watching her with great interest, I might add. In fact, I believe you were enraptured. She's our leader. I look to her for guidance. Oh, I see. So what guidance did you find in those swaying hips, hmm? No, no, no. I wasn't looking at, you know, her hind quarters. Certainly. Nine quarters. I gazed, glanced in that direction, maybe, but I wasn't staring, or really seeing anything, even. Of course. I hate you. <laughs> You're a bad person. Hind quarters, really? Uh, guys don't say much. They say no one goes in or out until the assembly speaks. Oh, okay, well, I'm glad I did click on My you. My goods are just rotting on their doorstep. I won't just stand here and take this. There's a quest up here. We won't do that quite yet because I don't want to get involved. Aaron? Oh, you wish to talk to me? <laughs> Truly, it's a courtesy for one so well-armed to notice a lowly merchant. You live on the surface. Someone has to. Trade with other races can dry up. We surfacers are Orzammar's lifeline. Even if we're denied a cast, the assembly says we've turned our back on the stone. But they still use the goods we bring. Hypocrites. 
Maybe it'll change by the time my children are grown. You know, um, as this is where my my brain starts um, mulling things over, and I I want to share, but this thing, this this situation between Orzammar, uh, the dwarves of Orzammar, I know that they live underground, just like most dwarves and most um, high fantasy uh, stories. They live underground. And in this case, these guys, they, um, they have what is called a caste system. And you can be made casteless as a punishment. And so um, I don't understand being sent to the surface. I think maybe that's part of being made casteless. But they're never to return to Orzammar. But, in fact, the... Dwarves underground are, they rely heavily on the surface dwarves because of trading, but they're not allowed to come back into Orzammar. That is so crazy to me. Like, I don't get the logic here. Why not allow just some dwarves go up on the surface, but allow them to still live amongst the people, just have another cast uh, for these particular dwarves? I don't know. Like I said, my brain's mulling things over here, and I want to talk about it out loud. Maybe you don't care, but yeah. All right, how often do you restock in Orzammar? Twice a year. I'm confined to a trade stall in the commons, but I see enough. It's very closed in. My grandfather says I've lost my stone sense. I was born topside. I don't remember having it. Also, he was never really... Okay, never mind. I should go. Best of luck to you. I was hoping that I'd be able to trade with him, so... Sherrick? Sherrick? Starrick? What can I, I do my glasses. for you? I have an offer for you, your master. This ought to be interesting. Such diction. This man is a true scholar and rhetorician. I am honored to be fired by one such as he. <laughs> Good day. Good day. These are funny. Quest updated. You have delivered all three notices of termination. Return to the Mages Collective for reward. All right. So we found all the mages to be fired. They need a king to decide who buys clothes? This is ridiculous. Oh, I see. So these people are suffering topside because they have no king politics. See, this is this is where I'm going to get a little political here and say that you guys I you know, as much as I I, I hear you know, watch the news and, and I have my own political beliefs, um, at the end of the day at the end of the day the politicians are the the enemy really they are and um the people end up fighting amongst themselves and they end up the, being the one to suffer you know that's that's just the tldr of my 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 political thoughts about today's society all right so we need to go where again oh we need to go to Redcliff, yes, because we need to find Dwen. Dwen has Sten's sword, and look, we didn't get stopped. All right, we're back here. You know who I want to check on, really quick? Our friend, um, the girl that we gave money to to leave. I want to check on her, see how she's doing. We've pretty much looted this place clean. But it's up here, I think. Yeah, I want to go and see if she's actually left. Can we still... Yeah, we still can still go in there. Just out of curiosity, I, I do want to see how dynamic this world can really be. Obviously, there's some limitations with technology from back in whatever this was made. Can we go in? Yeah. All right. Gossip, gossip, Lloyd, militia man. He's the one that was drunk. She's gone. She's absolutely gone. Okay. Yeah, I don't think she's back here. Maybe we should talk to Lloyd. See what he's about. If it isn't the hero of the day, mm. what can I get you? Not a dang thing. I should go. Right then. All right. So she's gone. Cool. Smart girl. Take the money and run. Get the heck out of Dodge. 
All right, now let's go find Dwen. And hopefully, mm, what is this? Oh yeah, we can turn this in. What is this? Cavern down. Brothers and sons, skin deep. Desperate haven, unintended consequences. All right. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. We just keep picking up quests. Five gold, nice. Anything in here? Grease the wheels. Let's read this one. My friend, I have a task that requires you some tact and discretion. And I think you're perfect for the job. The Blackstone Irregulars cannot survive without the, the patronage of the nobles, mages, and other groups who retain our services. For that work to continue, however, we have to ensure that people... Uh, that people are looking out for our interests. That end, I ask you to make a trip to Denerim and pass on our appreciation to certain individuals. Return when you are done, and I'll see that you're rewarded, your friend, Heroin. Sure. I don't know. I feel kind of slimy doing this. Talk to you. The Irregulars, thank you. And he gave us three gold. I mean, we're really racking up with these quests, so. All right, Dwen was over here. Ooh, you know what? Let's go check on them. Look, they're together again. We never talked to him. Valena returned. She told me of your daring rescue. I can't begin to tell you how grateful I am. You're welcome. Take this. A reward for your deed. Thank you. It's dwarven made and should serve you well. Oh. No, I don't need any reward. Keep it. That's even kinder of you. Thank you again. I'm forever in your debt. Yeah, I, I don't need a reward. Let's talk to Valena. Thank you, my lady. I'd never have been able to return to my father if it wasn't for you. Yeah. That's nice. I don't think I've ever done that. All right. Uh, yeah, let's talk to Dwin. Dwin's been up to no good. Oh, Dwin, hello. Oh, hold on, Dwin. It is begun. Dang it. Dwin, talk to me. Phew, some fight. Reminds me why I left Orzammar in the first place. Why is that? Constant fighting. A warrior's life there is blood, ash, and dust. Though I'm not sure who's dirtier. These creatures are darkspawn. Hmm. Listen, I'm looking for the Kanari sword you bought. Now, why would you be interested in that? It's mine. <sighs> you know, Farron didn't mention the giant he took it from was alive. Why don't you give up the sword and we'll go... Excellent idea. Yeah. It's in my strong box. Here's the key. Now, why don't you leave me alone? Good man, good man. All right, so that's why we couldn't get in. Ooh, Sten's sword. We got some stuff and things, so we'll give Sten his sword... Um, is it in here? Canary sword. Uh, is it a gift? Okay, now I don't, I don't see it. I give him that. Unexpected. Thank you. There it is. Strange. I had almost forgotten it. Completion. Are hmm. you sure you are a Grey Warden? I think you must be an Ashkari to find a single lost blade in a country at war. Ashkari. What will you do now? My sword is in my hand again. I should put it to use. And I could deliver a much more satisfying answer to the Arishok's question if the blight were ended. Don't you agree? I absolutely do. Um, so you're staying then? I am one of the Beresad. I have never abandoned the field with a battle unmet. I'm glad to have you, Sten. Yes, it isn't every Grey Warden who has her own Beresad. I will see you reach the Archdemon. Lead the way. I love it. New ability. Uh, didn't see that. All right. So, Sten is with us forever and ever and ever. That sounds 
creepy as all get out, but it's kind of nice to actually see him smile. It looks a little off kilter, but I mean, you know, Canary probably doesn't smile very much. I've forgotten how to, but it's good to see him smile either way. Um, all right, so our next. Ugh. All right, I want to get Flimeth done. I want to get her task done. And then I think we're going to head back to Orozumar. I think that's going to be our next task. Um, but what I'm going to do... No, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and get... Let's go over to Flemeth. Let's get that done. And that way we can... Get Morgan's quest... Can we go? Yeah. Get Morgan's quest done. Mm, battlefields. Refugees. Caravan. We got a lot of stuff on the map that wasn't there before, but I think it's because of those quests that we picked up. Um, we're gonna head to Flymouth, and then I think the next quest I think I want to go to Ostagar. Um, so yeah, let's go here. Get that done. And then I think I'm gonna take a bruh. A bruh, a break? A brook. Oh great. Who are you? Trickster Whim. Mm. Okay. Why are there dead people? You most likely killed them. All right, let's talk to you. We can't talk to you. Oh, jeez! The mage. Wait, they're all him? <laughs> they were all him. Trickster whim. Soul rot bomb. Concentrated soldiers being. Ooh. Mage's war boots. Restriction mage. Maybe we should give those to win. It shall be done. I should probably see who needs them the most first. Let's go talk to Flemeth. <sighs> this is gonna be a pain in the butt, I can already tell. Alright, um She's standing outside. I think she knew we were coming, you guys. Hi, Flynn. And so you return. Yeah. Lovely Morrigan has at last found someone willing to dance to her tune. Such enchanting music she plays, wouldn't you say? Um, we know your little secret, Flemeth. Or should I dance to your tune instead? We know your little secret, Flemeth. <laughs> Which one, I wonder? What has Morrigan told you? Hmm? What little plan has she hatched this time? Not for nothing, but you got some hips on you, girl. I'm kind of jealous. Um, She knows how you extend your unnatural lifespan. Why should I say what's the point? No, let's go with the first... That she does. The question is, do you... Ah, but it is an old, old story. One that Flemeth has heard before, and even told. Let us skip right to the ending, shall we? Do you slay the old wretch as Morrigan bids, or does the tale take a different turn? I need Morrigan. I have no choice in this. Choice. There is power in choices, as there is in lies. I shall give you one of each. Morrigan wishes my grimoire. Take it as a trophy. Tell her I am slain. And what happens to you? I go. Perhaps I surprise Morrigan one day. Or I may simply watch. It would be interesting to see what she does with her freedom. Enlightening, even. Would you give an old woman that? Do you think she'll believe that? We believe what we want to believe. It's all we ever do. At a point. <sighs> be honest with you, I really do not want to fight her. 
I could do that. It's far easier this way, don't you think? The lies are always more fun. Yes, fun. Tricking Morgan. Oh, who am I kidding? That does sound fun. I'm a bad man. A tangled web you weave, Warden. Mm. I hope it's for good cause. She doesn't like it. The book it. is inside the hut, with notes and spells enough to make even Morrigan blush with delight. You and I will not meet again. That I guarantee. Okay, so we lost five points of affinity with more um, with Wynn. She did not like that at all. But I, I just, uh, robe of possession it's for Morgan, Flemeth's grimoire. I know, I know. I'm sorry, when I just, I don't feel like fighting her. She is would, she would be a pain in the freaking butt to kill. The fact that she was waiting for us. Go back to camp. Um, tells a lot. Tells a lot. When when someone is waiting for you. All right. I guess I really don't know how to ask you this. Okay. Um. Are you sweating? No. I, I mean yes. I mean I'm a little nervous. Sure. Not that this is anything bad or frightening or. Well, yes. Oh, how do I say this? You think it would be easier, but every time I'm around you, I feel as if my head's about to explode. I, I can't think straight. Um, I feel the same way. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, I hope you mean the head exploding thing in a good way. Yeah. Here's the thing. Being near you makes me crazy, but I can't imagine being without you. Not ever. I don't know how to say this another way. I want to spend the night with you, here, in the camp. Maybe this is too fast, I don't know, but I know what I feel. Okay, so... Uh, you want to spend the night, are you sure? I wanted to wait for the perfect time, the perfect place, but when will it be perfect? If things were, we wouldn't even have met. We sort of stumbled into each other. And despite this being the least perfect time, I still found myself falling for you in between all the fighting and everything else. I really don't want to wait anymore. I've, I've never done this before. You know that. I want it to be with you while we have the chance in case Okay, no need to say anything else. I, I agree. Whoa. What is that? Well, okay then. You know, according to all the sisters at the monastery, I should have been struck by lightning by now. It could still happen. <laughs> sure. But if you get hit by the lightning afterwards, it hardly seems like an effective deterrent. You do realize the rest of our little party here is going to talk, right? Uh, they do that. Yeah, that, yeah, that is true. Not much privacy in the camp. Let them talk, I don't care. Oh, sure, now you say that. By tomorrow, it'll be icy glares and awkward silences right before battle. Just you watch. So, what now? Where do we go from here? We have Darkspawn to defeat. That's first. You're so practical. You make me proud. All right, I get the hint. We have a lot to do, right? And yes. we should do it. We should. <sighs> before we go... Have I told you that I love you? I did. Well, it won't kill you to hear it again, will it? I love you too. See? <laughs> Was that so hard? No, not at all. 
Absolutely not. First night. Achievement unlocked. All right. So I was not expecting that. Absolutely not. Um, so we're going to go ahead and end here and continue on in a little bit. But um, yeah, I wanted to actually give Morgan the grimoire. So I think I will do that in the next episode. Until next time. Ciao.